Welcome back into the Sports Source this seven of our program brought to you by Tenova Healthcare. September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. One in seven of the men watching today will face that kind of cancer at some point in their lifetime. So ask your doctor if it's time for you to take a simple PSA test. It's easy, just ask your doctor. Uh, when I faced the disease, it was Tenova Healthcare that helped save my life. When my father, more importantly, when he went through the disease, they helped save his life. And he had a little bit more of a battle than I did, and they were there with him throughout the entire thing. Uh, I trust Tenova. I tell you about Tenova every week. Because I trust Tenova, I hope you'll trust Tenova. Learn more at Tenova.com. All right, Chuck is over at our big board, and we've got five true or false statements over there. The guys at the uh, YP board will try to influence Chuck. The guys at the panel, <laughs> guys at the desk. That's what we call this thing, a desk. Uh, guys at the desk will try and influence Chuck. But um, he has the final say, so that's the way it goes. All right, this will be interesting, I'm sure. All right. <laughs> True or false? And let me go ahead and put up a graphic here. Uh, my director, Molly, have we got that full screen? The attendant, there we go. Now, that was with 12 minutes to go in the fourth quarter yesterday. Just look at that. Now, the true-false question is, after wins, behind wins, not counting wins, Butch Jones' biggest worry should be attendance. True or false? I'm going to go with... Sterling doesn't worry about anything. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm sure false, false, false. false. When, you got your head coach, what, when you got your head coach worried about attendance versus winning the football game, that's a problem. No, I, I said after wins. wins. After, after wins. Attendance yeah. is the next biggest thing and that gets coaches in trouble. No, false. I, I, Oh, I was just going to say, I don't, I don't think you worry about it just because it's something as a head coach you can't control. But I think if you're wanting a sign of where the fan base is, yes, that's a big concern. The fact that the fact that fans aren't showing up, once that starts happening, that's a good sign, as you said. Sometimes that's, that's how coaches, we start to get a feel that they're going down. Ask Philip Fulmer. Uh, Daniel Hood, true or false? I've got to go with true, and I say because, again, when the fans aren't showing up, that means you've got big businesses in town that are losing money. That's your hotels. It's everything else. You're losing hot dogs and things like that. When that starts happening, those people just put that money into the buyout. True or false? I, I'm going to go true. I tried to think of another alternative, maybe worry about, uh, I don't know, skirmishing with the media maybe, but, but when you get right down to it, uh, it's attendance. Okay. Chuck, your thoughts. Give me 15, 20 seconds. What are your to thoughts? me, the biggest concern would be getting the offense back on track, but I'm going to go true with attendance because if that continues to go down, there, there's no other answer than where the, pro, the program is right now. Okay. Uh, question number two, UMass outrushed Tennessee. I thought that had more to do with Tennessee's lack of a run game, though. I thought the defense played well enough yesterday. I thought the defense played pretty well. True or false? Defense did play well yesterday. Okay, so you say true. I, I think true. Two games in a row, they've done enough to win the game. The offense is one that has let them down more. I'm going to say false and say I still want to see more. You gave up 3.5 yards of carry on the rush. You did good in the pass at 6.5, but still, that's a team you should be able to keep further down than that. You had seven sacks against right. a team that gives up six per game. Uh, they also, their quarterback uh, passed 429 yards. He was averaging 300 coming in. So even if you cut that, if you take into account who he was playing, you'd think he would have at least been able to throw for 200. Uh, there were people that said when he got hurt, or, yeah. or UMass would have won, no, he really hadn't lit them up at all. Uh, true or false, that the defense played pretty well? I think it's true. You held them uh, to 281 yards, I believe. They were averaging 411. Uh, defense had, had the pressure on it time and time again in the, in the second half. I, I said give the game ball to Bob Shoup. Chuck Cavaliers, where are you going? I'm still going to go with true, even though you did not force a turnover. But you did make the plays, and that was the one thing Bush Jones had to talk about at the end was how the defense came through. Should have been holding the can. <laughs> Should have been holding. Just Texas A&M yesterday. Nobody went nuts over it. But Texas A&M won their game on an interception in overtime. Kid runs over the sideline, slams the ball into the maroon Texas A&M trash can for turnovers, <laughs> and nobody said a thing about it. All right. Uh, <laughs> Number three, ESPN's Kirk Herbstreet and David Pollack were asked if Butch Jones would be on the hot seat if not for social media. Herbstreet said no, he wouldn't be. Pollack said probably not. Were their statements true or false? That's true. He would not be on the hot seat if not for social media. And I don't think half the coaches on the hot seat would be on the hot seat if it was not for social media. It's amazing. True I, or false? I think false, but I think you have to take that in. I mean, that is part of the deal these days. I mean, social media has just changed everything. But I think it's false because... Fans, even before social media, there was talk radio. There was all kinds of things to get fans lathered up after a loss. I think fans got mad long before social media started, but that did make it a little bit worse. I'm older than you. I remember they didn't get this bad. <laughs> <laughs> true um, or false? I'm going to go with true. And I think it just goes back to you're given a, you're given a medium for people that just want to be angry. And unfortunately, your people that are positive aren't loud enough. 
and so the negative just gets exponentially worse. Mike mm -hmm. Strange, true or false that social media is what put Butch Jones on the hot seat? It, it's not what put Butch Jones on the hot seat, but it certainly inflames it. Uh, you go back to the 70s, I'd say Bill Battle, you know, didn't have social media, but he, he found himself on the hot seat. So I, I think you, you would, if your record is what it is, you're going to end up on the hot seat anyway, but social media inflames it. Okay. Check. John, I've already checked through, and I'll tell you why. I've said for several months, I think there is more negativity around the Tennessee fan base than certainly anybody else in the SEC. And it's just social media and ESPN. This was on college game day. And, and they made a pretty strong case for why that's true. If, you know, coaches were fired pre-social media, there's no question. But if you'd had social media in the day of Johnny Majors, you never would have had the 85 Sugar Bowl. Ooh. But they he also talked about the legions of the miserable, you know, back to that's back when the, that's years when, ago. That's when the phone call started in the, sure. the <laughs> mid-80s. But it, mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, I'm not saying that it was a off to on. Not everything is 0% to 100%. Sure. It's grown. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gasoline. It's an accelerant. Okay, John, in my opinion, true or false, John Kelly's workload, 24 touches against Georgia Tech, 23 against Indiana State, 25 against Florida, 27 against UMass. It's too much. John Kelly's workload, too much. I just need straight true or false answers now. We're running out of time. False. False yesterday was the big concern, but generally false. 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 I'll tell you what, I'm going to disagree. I'm saying no. true. You're risking injury for one of your key, key players. There's no reason in that heat and everything else, and you've got these good young players, for John, Kerry to carry the, John Kelly to carry the ball 25 times. Uh, he had 27 touches. He said 50 touches against UMass and Indiana State. Running backs only have so many touches in them. I, I don't know that I would have given him 50 in those two games. Yesterday he kind of got handcuffed, though. All right, uh, true or false, a win over Georgia would make the mood of the fans better. True, true. When it always makes people feel better. <laughs> true or false? True. I don't think it would alleviate all the concerns, but it would help a lot. Okay. I went with false. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with Daniel. You, okay, he goes false. Where you go? I am not sure. It'd make it better. It wouldn't yeah. solve everything, but it'd make it better. It won't make it better. It'll only keep it from getting worse. Ooh. It'll keep it from getting worse. The, the people who are off the bandwagon are not suddenly going to get back on the bandwagon. That's my view. So, I, 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 question. I think you have to go true, and I I'll tell you was. why, because I think Georgia is the odds-on favorite to win the East. You win this game, you're back in contention. You lose it, you're basically two games down to Florida and Georgia. So, yes, a mood, I think, would definitely, a win would make, uh, make the mood better. Hopefully, we'll be able to see and debate this next Sunday on the show. <laughs> All right, when we come back, coaching changes that Butch Jones has made. He's taking some risks. Have they paid off? Come on back. <laughs> 